Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft. As you can see, I did not do anything off camera. They had some mods like... Just enough items. See, look. Show this health as it went down. That's some of this. Again. But. Besides that, I would like to point out something. And as you probably noticed, I have changed my name. I said it was too long. I got rid of the whole YouTube part. Now it's just T Mike. And it does seem like a lot better of a name. Oh, I forgot I had bronze armor on. But I think in this video, I think I should start making my base. I have some basic resources. I was thinking of this mountain over here. Oh, coconut tree over there. Yeah, this mountain I'm thinking of might be my base. Keep in hitting I key because I keep on thinking that goes into the But that I I've been playing a lot of colony survival lately, so I'm kinda used to that. I said all the keys are the same. Mountain. It's gonna be my base. Well, I should probably go back to the village. I gotta collect some more food and start mining. Also, it's starting night soon, so I would like to be in the village when that happens. So I can die. I don't know, I don't remember if I have a bet, so I'm gonna kill these sheep. It'd also be good to get some mutton. I just realized I don't have the volume on. It begins to turn night time, so I'm just gonna go to the house for the night. Cycle through the furnace. Now that I've explained what I'm gonna do in this video, I think I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Alright, let's be back in just one moment. Hello everyone, I've done some more things off, done a few things off camera. Mainly I've started moving base into here. This place I dug out to be a smeltery, so. I did find some clay. That's probably like the most important thing. And now I'm gonna go to sleep.
carrots. I just got one more trip. Or trip of stuff I need to grab. I'm gonna have all my stuff. Zombie died. Up and move the loot. Wait, I gotta do inventory real quick. I just wanna see something. Then click the wrong thing. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Seared bricks. Seared bricks needs grout. Grout needs. Okay, sand. Clay's the rarest part of. I draw my sword. So, I'm on the ocean. Sand is gonna be easy to get. Plus, there's a desert down that way, I think. Now, gravel, that, that'll that be easy enough to find. Did I, empty, I did not empty out my inventory. I'm gonna mine gravel. Because I will need a ton of this for grout. There's other pockets of this. This stuff isn't hard to find. I just want to have enough to make some grout. Please start out. But we'll need a lot of seared bricks. To make a smeltery. Might not have enough. But I can find some more of that off camera. Oh, that's something I can ditch. I'll just get rid of that. I'll mine this coal as well because I will need a bunch of this. I've got enough. Play to get started, so. Well, then I'll head back to my base and I'm down my inventory. Then, the way back here, I'm going to. Well, collect some sand. I can start making some grout. Smeltery. I gotta get. A, I need to make a better staircase up here. I have this when I dug out. Not the best one. This is only a temporary fix. I'll keep that on me. You two can go in there. Time for, next time for our last trip. I'm just gonna collect some sand until my shovel breaks. Two. I want at least 48 to make ground. I only found one packet of clay. Right, another one won't be hard. Not too hard.
It was my axe. I wonder. My axe should be on my oh. here. Oh. I'm just gonna create another shovel. Oh. Quick. Uh, uh. This village for a while. I had the slime island up there. Uh. Keep the sword on in case I run into anything. I shouldn't, but just in case. Once I get up here, I'll make some grout, and then we'll start smelting it. Right, first, I'm gonna go into here. Just have this open, so nice recipe up there. Just place a stack in there to begin with. Get over a stack of grout. Okay, this should be enough to start out. I just need another furnace. Just put that in there. Oh, that's right. How much sand do I have? I got six sand. Another furnace. I need some glass. I just remembered for the fuel thing. Some doors. Put some stuff in there. Shrina. Put some doors on my house. I'm gonna expand this place later. I'm gonna make a pathway, send back that way, probably gonna move this chest out of the way then. And we can start making some of that seared bricks. I just remembered something. I'm gonna come get rid of that thing. I have the Tinkerer's mod on. I'm gonna get some crafted benches. Now these things are superior to crafting tables. In a few different ways. For one thing, they can access the chest that's next to it. For another thing, you can just leave items in there. Now we're just going to start the floor of this place. Now we 
got this glass. I made glass to make. Well, I'm gonna be making for it a seared tank. Just remember something about this smelter. To dig out this whole area because this is where I'm gonna be. I'll put all the cauldrons and stuff to pour stuff to pour it into. This torch there. This thing. this new brick so yeah there's just a lot of this involved in making it's well kind of boring work yeah boring work would be the word to make a seared tank I'm gonna need one thing of glass seared bricks around it I need basins. I need one of those things. I need faucets. It's gonna be a lot more. Probably gonna need. This is the big thing you need is a smelter controller. You're also gonna need smeltery drains. And now I'm just going to create seared bricks place around this thing. I think in this episode we're gonna have I think we can have a I think we got enough. I think we might have enough to actually make one of these things. I only need two more seared bricks, then the rest will be going towards other things. Because I do only need, I need space for those things. Hopefully. I can get this thing done. So now I'm going to cut ahead in the video a little bit again uh, to finish this thing up then I'll show you when it's done let's see you back in one moment alright hello and welcome back as you can see I got this thing up and running well not quite yet so I still got to there got any ore that's great I'm gonna grab some Real quick, copper deck. Yeah, that's all right. I'm just gonna uh, get this bit of copper here. I want to find some more ore just real quick. Got any coal? I'm gonna go in there real quick and just do some mining, so I can show you how to use the smeltery and everything. The 
lot of copper here. This should be good to start out. I don't want to sort out. I'm going to pull that out real quick. I was like, I have it out in case I run into anything. When we get up here, I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, the smith. Now, I know it's a little hard to make the smeltery. Cause you gotta find all that clay and stuff to make it. But it is worth it. This actually doubles your ore. So I'm just gonna show you. Once this ore gets melted down, it turn to liquid. See, this is how, once that reaches the top, it's gonna be melted down. And this will show you where, how much of that ore is in here. Got copper. I have enough to make one block, so and it takes seven. It takes nine copper to make one block. I can make like one and a half blocks now. This one. Oh, you can also put stuff in there. doubles your amount of resources, and some resources it does not work. See, I got a copper block. Now if I show you, we had seven copper, this makes nine copper. I'm just gonna turn it back into a block for storage, but that is how a smeltery, smeltery works. Hoping you enjoyed this video, well this episode of Modern Minecraft. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye!